What's up, duelists? Today, I've got a very special video for y'all. Before I get into the deck, before we get into everything, first things first, go ahead and check out Edison Format Italia on YouTube. These guys sent me this deck list. They threw a huge Edison tournament, IRL, 55 players, and this deck made top eight, designed by Enrico Mengi. Very, very cool deck. There's a lot of cool stuff to talk about here, but definitely check these guys out. They got a lot of cool edison format content they got some some good stuff and you know got to represent the international stuff that's that's where it's at i mean there's hella edison players all over the world got to represent it okay on to the deck we've got you know a very classic looking black salvo deck on the surface but if you look a little bit closer there's a lot of unique tech there's a lot of cool stuff here that i think obviously contributed to this deck's success for the most part the main deck is pretty straightforward. You got Cyber Valley plus Battle Fader. He's down to one black salvo. Makes sense. This card can brick if you don't find the Koichi. So you definitely only really want to draw one of these. And you can loop it with Dimensional Alchemist. So only having one is pretty much all you need. Again, the Black Rose Dragon is limited to one in Edison format. So there's no real reason to have a second black salvo. If the first one doesn't resolve, you can always just loop it. And if the first one does resolve, then your black rose dragon's gone. The second one's not going to be that great anyway. I did make two changes to the list that they sent me. I added a Blackwing Armor Master to the extra deck over a Red Dragon Archfiend, and I added a Magical Android over a Gaia Knight. I figured that Magical Android and Blackwing Armor Master would come up a little bit more than the, obviously, the Red Dragon and the Gaia Knight, so... Those are the two changes I did make to the deck. I'm keeping it as true to pos as possible to the initial designer. He did very well in a very large tournament, so we're going to see if it has the sauce. We're going to see if it has the sauce. In the sideboard, there's some good stuff. There's Triple Snowman for Black Wings. He probably expected a lot of Black Wings, because I'm looking at the sideboard, it's just Triple Sirocco Consecrated in your mul multiple Dark Monster deck. You've got <laughs> Triple Snowman, too, so... This looks like a very anti-Black Wing sideboard, and it worked out very well for him. He was able to top eight. We're going to go ahead and try this deck out. I wonder if it's good or if it's just, like, insanely pre for Black Wings and he got some some good matchups there. I don't, I'm not really sure. I think Cyber Valley Dialk DD Warrior Lady is obviously a very powerful engine. It's an engine that I've played in Edison format before. Similar engine to the one that's in the Fairy deck, which I think is, of course, the best deck. So... It's a good engine. It's a good engine for sure. I'm not exactly sure how it, you know, lines up with the Battle Fader, with the Kais, with the Dekoichi stuff, but who knows? Here we are. Does John Wick want to play? Let's see if John Wick wants to play. User has canceled their duel. <laughs> okay, John Wick doesn't want to play. John Wick realized he's got a movie coming out. Yo, shout out John Wick. That movie's going to be sick, dude. I'm excited. I'm, I've been a big, like, John Wick fan since day one. I love the action choreography. I love the long shots. That That's my shit, dude. John Wick is <laughs> guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure for sure. Where There was four people hosting for this format five seconds ago. Okay, there we go. <laughs> God damn. God damn. I'm getting impatient out here. I'm, Dude, you know what? Before it was like, you know, we're all chilling. We're chilling, telling people to like and subscribe. Now I'm like, where's my fucking game, bro? Where's my, I'm trying to game, dog. Okay, eight extra deck. We're not going to play this out. We're going to go ahead and get a different game. Again, don't join my game with an unfinished deck. It's a waste of my time. It's a waste of the viewer's time. It's, it's just fill out your extra deck. There's really no reason not to. It is going to come up. It is going to come up. All right, I am Beast. We're going to play against you. Good luck. Have fun. Against I am Beast, we're going to pick Rock. I'm going to pick Rock again. Fuck it. Fuck it, I am Beast. That's right. That's right. We're going first. That's right. That's right. Okay. See? It's not that hard. Right click seven more cards, brother. <laughs> all right, all right. This hand. This hand's a classic. This hand's a classic. Royal Decree Gores. A classic. I'm just going to set to Koichi and pass. I could also set a Book of Moon, but then I'm like forced to use. Eh, all right. All right. I'll set a Book of Moon. I'll set a Book of Moon. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? If they go Blackwing Whirlwind, I'll be happy I set this Book of Moon. Yeah, not being able to set Decree because we have Gores is kind of annoying, but again, we're not playing into Heavy Storm very much here either, which is kind of nice. So, I'm I'm cool with this setup here. Dialk's going to be really good for us. Here comes Lone Fire Blossom. That's going to ruin our day <laughs> in every sense. Yeah, we don't have a way of dealing with Titanial very effectively. We're going to be forced to use this Book of Moon before we can even drop Gores. Uh, things don't look good. Things don't look good. I'll say it. Things don't look good. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a problem. I, 
it's yeah fuck <laughs> our hand does not beat this our hand loses to this outright um yeah there's nothing i can do i, I just gotta draw a card i just gotta let it cantrip unfortunate but that's just gonna be the case all right we have cyber valley but you know we're just falling behind on board here it's not a good look Uh, so we set the decree now. I think we have to, unfortunately. I think one of the only ways we can get back into this game is Black Rose. So, unfortunately, we only have one copy of Salvo. I mean, this is going to be pretty unlucky for us to draw it. We do have Sangin to search for it. We have Goldshark to search for it, but we're going to need to buy a lot of time, and I don't, I don't really see that happening because this card kills you really fast. Whoa, this is aggressive. This is really aggressive, sure. Uh, if they sack this for Caius, I'm going to fucking leave the game. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> We're going to game two. Oh, this is not a good look. I did set the decree, so we can't summon Gores. Gores isn't out to Titanial, but, like, they have a back row, and we need to have a decree for it, like... If we can find a battle fader, we can fader into maybe book the titanial Caius it, something like that. Like, I just don't. Okay, there's Sangin. This doesn't. Okay, sure. That was. That was bad from the opponent. That was bad. They should not have summoned the quick draw there. Okay, there's fader. So we have fader Caius. We can book titanial, maybe Caius it somehow. All right. Allure is pretty good, too. I'm actually going to gun this because I want to banish the gores. Draw two. Oh, maybe I just want to banish the Caius. I don't even know here. That's the thing. I don't even know here. Hmm. Yeah, let's just banish gores. I think that's going to be dead. And plus, we can get it back with Dialk, so it's like not a big deal. I'm going to try to summon Dialk and run over the quick draw because I don't want them to make a drill against me. That card's going to be super fucking annoying. If their back row was solemn, they could have stopped this, but... Yeah, I don't know why they summoned this. That was weird. Maybe they're just trying to set up for Avarice, like, desperately, but I just don't understand it. I'm going to try to book the Titanial on the attack. I think is the move. Maybe it's not. Maybe we just let it happen. Then we try to fade her Caius. Yeah, okay. Maybe that's the move. Okay. No, that, that makes sense. We can take back Valley is what we want. I don't know what we want, actually. Maybe we just book it now. Maybe we just save the life points. I think it's the same thing, but we save the life points. The only thing is if we wanted to add back gores, then if we wanted to add back gores, this would make more sense. Okay, here's Debris Dragon. Uh, shit, man. It's pretty fucking good. That's gonna bring back something. Has to be attack position. Yeah. I guess we're just kind of owned. I hope they synchro. They probably won't. Hmm. Now they have a second plant. Like, I could have chained book, but then they just reflipped the titanial here. I don't know what this is going to be that I, like, care about, though. Ancient fairy. Yeah, like, this doesn't... This doesn't really do anything. Sangin is fine. This is all good. Hmm. We're going to be in kind of a tight spot. We can get out of it, but it's just a tight spot. Because Gale should get us out of this circumstance. We're going to let the, the alchemist die, and then we're going to grab Fader. I don't know what they're going to search for here. I don't know what the whole point of this was, unless they were really trying to get their avarice live, 
But it's like you're throwing away cards to get your average. I don't really get that. Do they have another quick draw? Like, I don't... I don't really get it. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. But, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So here comes the attack. I think I'm going to add back... They should have attacked the Titanial there. I think I'm going to add back Gores. I think it's just the best one to add back. They're going to attack here with the Lone Fire. We're going to activate Battle Fader. Special summon that guy. Next turn, we can book to force the Titanial Negate. And then... Uh, Caius it. Oh, we found Salvo. Is that just better? Hold up, is that just better? Are there any warriors in the grave? That might just be better. There's no warriors in the grave. Okay. You know what? This is actually just better. That was a really good draw. That was like probably the best draw in our deck. So I'm going to activate Royal Decree. And then I'm going to go Salvo, bring back to Koichi. And then I'm probably going to make Colossal. And I'm going to try to run over some of these cards. So we'll normal summon salvo, activate. This only gets owned if they have main deck DD Crow. Which doesn't look like it's the case. So cool. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a colossal fighter. That was a pretty nice draw. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was pretty good. We're gonna attack the Titanial. Just need to get that out of here, because Titanial is the fucking problem here. Titanial is the issue. Quick draw is a machine, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Cool. Go through damage. Titanial. Yep. Attack Titanial. Okay, this is going to go to the graveyard. Titanial is going to die. This is going to activate. Special summon itself back out. And then we'll use this to run over the Ancient Fairy Dragon now. This Lone Fire is negated. It's not really doing any harm. We already have a Book of Moon down. I don't want to set further. One of the ways they're coming out of this is like Heavy Storm anyway. So I'm just going to pass. There we go. That should be easy. If they have a Typhoon, they have to decide between Typhooning the Royal Decree and the Book of Moon. We have a hand that's stacked full of good cards. Granted, we don't really have a way to convert these two Caius unless we can summon Gores. So if they're able to clear Colossal Fighter with like a Caius the Shadow Monarch here, that's pretty fucking annoying. <laughs> I'll just say, it's pretty annoying. We have Gale. Okay, here's Pitch pitch Dandy for Quick Draw. That's okay, though. Um, yeah, this is all good. This doesn't out Colossal Fighter. Huh. Interesting. So they're lagging. Must be just bugged. Okay. So yeah, they can make like Junk Archer, but like who cares? They can make Drill Warrior, but again, who cares? They can make Nitro Warrior, but that doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I'm not really at risk of much, I don't think. Huh. I don't know. What are they doing? I think they're just lagging like crazy. But like literally nothing here does, matters. No, no level 7 here does anything. No, no level 7 does anything. They're... It's... If they're lagging, it's on their end, because I'm not lagging at all. They can only make... Yeah, there's Junk Archer. Yeah, so this this is going to force in some damage, which is legit, but then they're just going to lose the Junk Archer. Okay, there goes Colossal Fighter for the turn. They haven't Normal Summoned yet, but I do still have Book of Moon, so I'm not really at risk of dying here. Yeah. 
that's what I was thinking. It's just going to be small poke. But that's two cards just to get in 2300 damage. They're bleeding cards at this point. On my next turn, I can commit more. There was no Caius, so I'm not super scared. I've got Double Book of Moon to help make sure I don't die randomly. And we should just be good to win this one. The only way they're coming back is... Okay, that could be a Raikou. That could be annoying. I might be looking at sacking Colossal Fighter for Caius, actually. I think that might be something we're looking at. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That's really good. Okay, we could brain Junk Archer. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Either It's either that or we're braining Lone Fire. We're making like Goyo and we're attacking over Junk Archer. And then we're sacking the Junk Archer for Caius to banish their monster. That's a big commitment into... That's a big commitment into potential debris black rose but we have double book of moon so i think it's okay i'm gonna brain control take junk archer no this was a mistake this was not the card i wanted to take god damn it i wanted to take this so i can make goyo i uh, shit man i got a little ahead of myself <laughs> but you know what that's okay it's gonna be it's gonna be fine we, we wanted to preserve the gale really is what we wanted is we wanted to preserve the gale Nice. Okay, shell banished. So it looks like they are on the shells. We can attack over the Lone Fire. This guy now has 2,900 because Junk Archer is a warrior. So that should be 2,100 more. Junk Archer is a warrior. And then Caius can attack directly for 2,400. Uh, you can't. You control a card. Looks like our opponent's just newer. They don't really understand. Where it says, you must control no cards. Yeah, Gores, Gores only works when you control no cards. So, if I attack with Caius and he has a trap card he can play, then he could summon Gores by activating the trap card and just getting it negated, but it looks like that's not the case. And even if it was, I don't know if our opponent would recognize that. This is not going to be the most competitive match, as we can tell from the opponent's first place, but we're getting a feel for the deck. I misplayed myself, so it's just a warm-up match. Just a warm-up match. Okay, second Caius here should just close things out. But yeah, that, that worked out really well. The top deck salvo was insane. It almost makes me think we might want another one, but confirmation bias is, you know, we just, uh, confirmation, confirmation, we confirm it. All right, nice. Now he's showing us all. Don't do this. It's still game one. Don't show me your back rows. GG. Yeah, they could have solemned uh, the d -Alk summon, I think, before we had flipped to Kree, but obviously it doesn't really matter there. He said GG twice. I don't, I'm really confused by this guy. I don't know if I really want to play this match out for your guys' sake. I'm going to go ahead and just get a different match. Because I feel like, you know, that, that was a good warm-up. It was a legit warm-up, but our opponent didn't really know what he was doing. Uh, he didn't know what some of the key cards did, and so we're just going to get a different match. We're just going to get a different match. Um, no offense to our opponent. Obviously, it's all fair game. If you're newer to the format, uh, you know, you got to play to learn, but... Good luck, have fun, Parker. We're going to go ahead and pick Scissors. Nice, going first again. Very lucky, very, very lucky. So far, I'm liking the deck, but then again, I haven't played it against something super real yet. So we'll see. We'll see. No, this hand's very good. I don't even know if I want to allure. <laughs> That's how good this hand is. If I did, I'm probably banishing Caius, although the rest of the hand is pretty good. We're going to try something a little wacky. I'm going to try a Pro Set Storm. If they're playing Frogs, then I'm going to be so mauled, but then I'll just banish Gores to Allure of Darkness, and we'll be fine. Plus, going second against Frogs. Okay, here's this. This is... No Prisma Tiger, please. Don't go for this into one back row. There's no... 
Reveal Heraklinos. Okay. We're revealing Her Heraklinos. So they're sending Laquari. That means Bestiari is in hand. Interesting. Okay, Test Tiger. Sure. Going to activate Test Tiger. That's okay. This doesn't really get you where you want to go, though. This doesn't really get you anywhere. They're going to Bestiari pop the back row. That's a terrible play. <laughs> why wouldn't, if you were going to do this, why wouldn't you just Geyseris? I don't understand that at all. That's, that's not a good play. I, I, unless you wanted to, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. We got to think about crowing here. They're going to equest or they're going to Darius. And we got to think about crowing. They're going to equest. I'm going to crow. Target the quarry. All right. What do we need to get out of this situation? Dimensional Alchemist is pretty good, but it plays into Chariot, unfortunately. But then if that plays into Chariot, then we've got Gores and they can't loop the Chariot. Daikoichi is not exactly it. I want to Allure of Darkness. Do they have a response? I should have maybe waited a little bit longer to play around Trap Dust Shoot, but... Okay. So... What we've got here is we've got Cyber Valley. It's a little bit too passive. We got Dekoichi. Again, it's not the best. Trigodia. I absolutely hate Trigodia against Glads. I'm going to banish Trigodia. I think it's the worst of these cards. Gores at least will leave us with a token to convert our Caius. Dekoichi can at least attack over a Rediari. Like, in those circumstances, attack over a Mermillo. And then the other cards we can't banish because they're light, so... I am going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do this. Because this this at least gets me a plus one into Chariot. If they Chariot here, we'll, we'll be able to add back the Trigodia. It was a really good draw to find Alchemist. That was probably one of our best, best cards. Book of Moon would have been a good draw too, but here we are. I'll try to attack. I mean, they're going to book my Dialk. Okay, so it, it ate a card. It ate one of the back row. I'm... Honestly, I'm chill with that. That's totally fine. Because, like, from this point, their request can't tag into anything that nets them advantage because we crowed the Laquari. Uh, yeah, so this is going to get destroyed. We're going to add back Trigodia unless they want to chariot it. Okay, they don't. They're just going to tag out. Sure. Now we do get Chariot looped, because the quest is in the deck, so. Things aren't good if they have Chariot. I'll say it. I'll say it. Things aren't good if they have Chariot. One way we can do it is we can basically force... Force them to have double Chariot. Oh, never mind. That's just fucking crazy draw. <laughs> okay, what's the move then? Is the move Sidra and Achaeus? No, that's two for one and a Chariot. I think the move might just be Sidra Crash. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this play. Cool, beautiful. Now they do have something to get value out of the graveyard, but what can you do? At this point, we can summon Cyber Valley. Or we could set to Koichi. Hmm. I think it's a little better to set to Koichi. I have a read that one of their back rows is a protection spell. And the other one is a chariot. So I think it's like road chariot. <clears throat> There's the quest again. If they only play one, then they won't be able to summon their Laquari. They're going to test Tiger here. I don't... I don't know about this. I guess it's Secutor. Yeah, Secutor is good. Secutor walks. Yeah, Secutor is going to be good here. If they don't play Secutor, then... Okay. Uh, Mermelo has to target itself. We're getting another opponent who doesn't really know what their own cards do. So, target one face that monster. Destroy that target. Yeah, that was. 
All right. Yep. 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 All right. That was uh, going to be bad. On our next turn, we draw a card. We flip to Koichi. We draw another card. We sack for Caius, and then that should just be the game because they have two cards and we have six, and our six cards are good. So, yep, that's probably probably it. I didn't really understand what they were going with. If they had Sekitor in their deck, like that would have been a crush. Like we would have just lost probably. Because they could go Sekitor, they go Tiger into Sekitor, Sekitor attack. And then Sekitor gets them two summons, and then one of those summons also gets a plus one. So like they could either get Darius, bring back the Laquari, or they could get a quest, add back the Laquari. If they have a third Laquari, then they don't need to Darius, but if they don't have a third Laquari, then they probably want to get back Darius, and then they could make Heraclinos and leave a tagging glad in play too, which is crazy. So that um that would have been really scary. That would have been really hard for us to beat, I think, if they had Sekitor. But as it stands, they misplayed, and we're just gonna go ahead and get another game. A little bit of a <laughs> a little bit of a questionable video so far. <laughs> a little bit of a questionable, but we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. I mean, we'll get a good match out of this. <laughs> Undefeated, Kappa? No, not really. Oh, man. Guys. Good luck. Have fun, guys. Oh, man. And now Dueling Book begins to lag. I'll pick paper. Darn. Okay. 2-1 in RPS. I need to step up my game. My RPS game. Hmm. Now, this hand's really bad. This hand doesn't do anything. Like, Book of Moon, Scapegoat, Dark Arm don't do anything here. Okay, now the Scapegoat does something. I think we're in just, like, set two phase. I think that's fine. If they Heavy Storm me, I'll just chain Scapegoat, and we'll be chilling. And then we have Valley Scapegoat to, like, draw ourselves back into the game. I don't really need to summon Valley. Now, hmm, what deck plays draw go like this? I'll activate scapegoat. I'm actually curious what deck plays draw go like this. It might be torrential. Okay, there's Dialk. If it's torrential, I get owned. That's that. Uh, I'm just gonna I'll hold that L so we banish this guy in a token we get to draw two cards cool pretty good pretty good now we have three free tokens end phase space typhoon all right am I gonna get OTK'd they were probably waiting on gores so they were probably waiting to like typhoon and then drop gores based off of how they're playing so I'm going to play like they have Gores, which is like slow, more passive with the Koichi, even though Dimensional Alchemist can pressure shit. Never mind. I mean, what is the set monster in this deck? Hmm. I'm going to keep playing like they have Gores. I'm just going to set to Koichi. If it's Raiko and they pop to Koichi, like, okay, at least we have double Dialk and then we get a Dark in the Grave and... We can maybe make something happen, but yeah, I'm gonna keep playing like they have like gores or something. Frogs, okay. Soul exchange, also okay. That means no battle phase this turn. Cool. Well, that's that, I suppose. Here comes Treeborn. How am I winning this game? Hmm. How am I winning this matchup? I don't think we have a good matchup against this deck. Maybe we do. I don't fucking know. I guess if we could get some more darks in the grave, we could be okay. They really wanted to preserve their set monster that badly. Crazy. Allure's a good start. I'm going to fire that off. Draw two. 
Those are terrible draws. Disposable we'll Banish Battle Fader. I guess we'll just make them act. We'll make them act. We'll maybe threaten something. Not having Torrential in this matchup is really bad. I feel like Torrential is really good against this matchup. They're going to Heavy Storm. I'll book their Treeborn. <laughs> Kappa. Okay, they should phase switch here. It is important that they do that, but yeah. Okay, so they're going to act. Oh, thank God. Thank God it's this garbage. All right. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. So if we summon this guy, banish. I guess we could use these to force negates too. How ca how can we get how can we get this lower? So if we go, Dialk activate goes to twenty three. The attack it'll go to 18. It's not quite low enough. I'll still I'll still just use the Dialk to do that. And then I will set two and then pass. I know this kind of fucks our own gores, but we don't have it yet, so there's that. There's no reason not to Typhoon on attack declaration. And then take 500, activate Dialk. The lad's getting two cards out of us, but it's going to clear their dupe frogs, which is nice. How does this work? Also special summon that monster. I don't know how this works. Do the Dew Frogs miss timing? It's a good question. Alright. I just don't have enough fucking dark monsters. God, this is so annoying. I guess it's just summon Dialk, activate, and then hope to get... Some sort of Fader Kaius shit going. We have Dark Arm, we just don't have any Dark Monsters in our grave. Now this guy is done being, you know, the thing where it can negate things. They're just going to sack for Kaius, target Dialk. Okay, cool. Interesting. We can Fader Kaius ourselves. Just to get us closer in terms of like darks to what we need. There's DD Crow. <sighs> they sent double treeborn, right? Yeah, they did, yeah. Hmm. I guess we just clear the dupe frogs. There was some argument to maybe cyber valuing and getting our value, but. Yeah. I think it's gonna be hard to win this one. We're in an awkward spot, I think. And we're down too many cards. And we could never get dark armed online because all we have are fucking light monsters. I am gonna DD Crow that. I don't think DD Crow is getting much better, and I do need to get a third dark in the grave. Gonna bring back another one. Sure. Go nuts, bro. It is unfortunate too, we drew Heavy Storm Typhoon, which are two of our four spell and trap removal spells. If we had something like brain control, this would have been a much different game. Go ahead and pick the dark arm, but I will concede. All right. You got me. That was fun. 
And we don't really have too much for this matchup. I mean, we just have these three cards. I don't think he was really prepared for this. Spirit Reaper can be good in this matchup too. I am going to bring it in. It can be good. We have four cards we want to take out. So the, you, you just got to do it like that. It can bring in the Nox too, but they're like tentatively good. They're not actually good. He just has nothing for frogs. Like this is just not going to be a matchup he can ever win realistically. Especially when they have proactive threats like Thestalos. I could bring in Nobleman. I, I could do it, but it's just like so... You feel me? It's so... Eh. It's, it's not really that much. I guess it's kind of better than Cyber Valley. Kind of better than Book of Moon. But... It's... We'll try one. I guess maybe we can force in a Kaiku Swing. Is that really what the game is? What the game plan is? I also don't love Dialk against Frogs either. Okay, we'll try this. We'll try the Nox in. I think there's some merit to them where it can maybe force in a Kaiku Swing. And we can steal the game. Whereas otherwise, I don't really know how we win. Okay, this hand's decent. This hand's just like turn one Cyber Valley kind of shit. Yeah. I'm down to just summon the dude. We have Knock Dino, which is good. This is a good combo. Okay, there's Swap Frog. Pitching Swap Frog. There's no real reason to do this unless you have Substitute or you have Salvage. Otherwise, you can just normal summon the Swap. There's no real reason to do that. Unless you want to sack for a Monarch too, I guess. But I'll take that. That's a two for one Cyber Valley. Okay, they're just going to bounce it. That's insane. All right. They still haven't normaled yet either, which is important to note. Question is, how are we killing this shit? I'm going to take 2,000 because I'm just going to gale over it. Why does he have a trap card? That's interesting. All right, let's try Gale, have this guy. We have a game plan. It's not a great one, but we do have a game plan. And they have a back row now, which means they can't summon Treeborn because they didn't use their back row. Normal summon swap, sure. Again, not going through the phases is, is a really annoying thing. Especially in a deck where it fucking matters, but, you know, hey, here we are. Alright. Now we could summon Dinah here, but we kind of, like, play into, like, Soul Exchange shit. And they've already locked their own Treeborn, so I'm just going to attack for 13. Alright, let's see a reason not to do that. And we'll just pass. They still can't bring back Treeborn. I wonder if they set Typhoon like they did game one. It's a pretty big mistake if they did, because I'll just never play a back row this game. Alright. We're going to send another card. This time sending Substitute. Interesting. Substitute wouldn't be a bad draw for them. They could, like, set it and shit. Okay, now because I do have cards that I would like to play from my hand and not discard, I will Normal Summon Dimensional Alchemist. I will activate the effect. Looks like it's not Treacherous Trap Hole, which is good. So we'll get to attack for a lot of damage here, which is very nice. And I'll just pass the turn. And if they set Space Typhoon, I mean, it's just really silly. They're going to set a monster. We have Nobleman. And we can summon Dyna for game, so. I'll activate Dialk first. Finish the top card. Normal summon Dyna. It's like theoretically optimal not to activate the Elk here, but. Okay, we'll nobleman their monster. And that's lethal. Cool. Yeah, they probably said Space Siphon. That's probably what happened. Day one mistake. Very, very day one mistake. I'm not going to change anything. Deck's perfect. We're going to run it back. The only thing I might consider changing is, like, Dekoichi for DL, because DL can actually, like, 
pressure in a realistic amount of time, but it's fine. This hand's pretty good. We have Crow, we have Kaiku, so like if we can get Treeborn banished, we can actually have a chance, which is nice. I'm just going to set Dekoichi. I don't think there's really any reason to do anything else. We could set Book of Moon 2. Hmm. <clears throat> In what instance would we want to set Book of Moon? I guess all of them. I'll do it. I'll do it. Because we have two of them anyway, so like if it eats a back row removal, I'm like, alright. I'm fine with that. Not too worried. Dinah's an amazing draw. We'll go ahead and flip the Koichi. Draw a card. Opponent's bit of a slower start is going to cause us to pull ahead in terms of cards. We can now DD Warrior Lady the set, or we could summon Dinah. I think I'm going to go with the DD Warrior Lady because if it is Treeborn Frog, if it is Treeborn Frog, then we have DD Crow for the second one, and we're just living, dude. We're just fucking living. I'm prepared to take 500 if necessary. Nope, it is Treeborn Frog. All right, I'm not going to attack with the Dekoichi. I don't need to. Um, yeah, I just don't need to attack with this card. I don't need to play into Gorge when I have fucking Dyna, so there's just no reason for it. Mm. Okay, they're going to Soul Exchange. Sure. What's this going to be? They're going to sack for Ryza. Ryza's going to target the back row. I'm going to chain Book of Moon. Target Ryza. Cool, and now they have another back row. Did they not learn from the last game? <laughs> Alright, the worst of our monsters is Kaiku. So I'm going to summon that, and I'm going to attack their set. I think the other monsters have merit. Karma Cut. Discarding Light and Darkness Dragon. Targeting Kaiku. Hmm. I could Book of Moon it. We can also just Book of Moon this guy again on the attack. Which I'm probably going to end up doing. So Dinah can run it over. They do have trap cards in their deck. They have Heavy Storm. Okay, that's a good draw. Now we need to find something. We have things. Like, we have Caius and shit. So we have ways to get rid of this. It's just not as clear a path as it was a few turns ago. There's Caius. All right. Let's go ahead and brain control. See if this works out for us. I am going to attack because they set a back row. So they can't gores me. They could battle fader. That'd be annoying. Enemy controller. Okay. And I will tribute set Caius and pass. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Time to flip summon, normal summon Dinah, and then just go in for 36. Hopefully this works. Okay. Do we set scapegoat? Eh. Why not? Why not? We might end up, like if they go soul exchange and like, I don't see a world where we end up playing it there, but it's possible. All right, I just want to pressure the opponent. I'm going to summon the Dekoichi. I want to give them one turn. So Caius is going to attack this. We're going to go 26. And it's just basically having out. I probably didn't need to set the scapegoat last turn. I was thinking like maybe there's a chance we play it. But it would be a weird freak circumstance with like brain control, enemy controller kind of thing. GG's. GG's. So Dinah apparently carries in the frog matchup is what I'm learning. And I really want to see if he set Typhoon. So we're going to check that. <laughs> we're going to check that. So far, if he set Typhoon, so far we've had three. I won't say it, but okay, maybe I will say it. Fairly uncompetitive matches. Fairly uncompetitive matches. We're going to go to the next game. Fast forward. Let's see what he set. Yep. Yep. I already know what it is. Yeah, so this is this is like a classic mistake. Classic mistake. I have no targets. You can't activate this card. You can't activate it. So you'll never be able to you'll never be able to summon Treeborn if you set this. If he just doesn't set this Dust Tornado here, 
Hmm. How does the game look if he doesn't set the best right now? So let's say he goes Chimera attack. Tax me for 2k. I have to Gale over the Chimera attack. And then he's able to bring back Treeborn and Dark Dust Spirit or Ryza. Ryza, unfortunately, is only a temporary answer to Gale. What was my draw for turn? I forget it. Trigodia. Okay, yeah, no. I don't know if it really would have mattered, but it, he would have actually had play. Whereas, instead, he just, like, falls super far behind. Ooh, drawing Vanity Sphinx would have been crazy, actually. Yeah, no, 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 no. That, that actually, this changes the whole game, setting this Dust Tornado. Because, like, you bring back, you bring back Treeborn, and you sack for Vanities, you run this over, I just lose. Like, I, I can't beat that. And then you have Dust Tornado for any sort of out to Vanities. Yeah. Yeah, small, small, I say small. Terrible error from the opponent. Like, absolute giga punt. Super Omega Choke. Uh, choke of the month, really. I was playing around Treacherous a little bit here. I was, like, thinking, okay, if they have Treacherous, they might be forced to use it. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. Yeah, this is, like... I would have never won this game. I would have never won this match. I, I don't think I would have had a chance. My hand is just not good enough to beat this. Like, Fanny's Fiend would have just beat me outright. Straight up. Like, I, I would have had no chance. So, yeah. Crazy. I guess I did draw Book. I had Book Knock. I wonder if that would have been turned too late, though. Because I would have been too low, and then the Ryza would have killed me, or the Dark Dust would have killed me. I guess I have Battle Fader. Hmm. It would have been it would have been a game. I did top deck the out though. I did top deck book. Interesting match. Interesting match. I wish I wish that they had just not set Dust Tornado there so we could have had like a better game, but you live and you learn, I guess. Alright, let's get one more. Fuck it. Let's get one more, fuck it. I'm having a little bit of fun playing this deck. I think it's cool. I don't think it's that good, but I think it's cool. I think it's like it's like weirdly decent, because people are bad but if people were less bad i think this deck would be hard to win with because battle fader is a minus one every single time you draw it and cards like cyber valley are really slow and you, you're overloaded on it whereas in other decks that play cyber valley like in fairies you only play the one because you can tutor it and so you're not like just bogged down like multiple cyber valley hands sound really bad there's not a lot of great ways to like come back from that tempo deficit really Especially because, like, if I'm summoning a Cyber Valley, my opponent's already ahead on board. That gives them an opportunity to Bryonic or whatever. I'm, like, holding physical cards while I'm doing this. I'm, like, <laughs> playing the card on the table. Yeah, they can either Bryonic or whatever, Synchro Monster, Dark End Dragon, whatever, to just blow up the Cyber Valley. And now I'm behind two summons. And they have a Synchro Monster in play. And there's just, like, so much that can fall behind. I get Caius. It's so bad. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. All right, lovers of the channel always pick scissors. I knew it. I knew it. Mr. Beam, get owned. Tightened up my game. All right. What have we got? Hmm. This hand sucks. Because, like, I don't really want a Dimensional Alchemist blind flip. I kind of just want to set my Decree... We need a dark for this hand to be good. We just don't have a dark. It's just so bad if we like set book, set decree, summon Dialk, miss, and then they heavy storm me, in, and then I just my whole hand falls apart. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see that. Not that it matters, we have decree anyway, so it's kind of whatever. There we go. We would have hit, because we're goaded, but we take those. Alright, we're gonna draw two. Uh, I'm gonna banish a battle fader. I think the rest of my cards are pretty good. Again, battle fader is always a minus one. So it's not really great. Ryko's gonna pop the back row, that's fine. Looks like we're playing against fairies. Hmm. This matchup might be a little bit tough. I'll set both. I'll set both. 
Uh, the reason I'm setting both is I want to be able to snipe a back row. And then I also want to be able to book this. Yeah, I knew this was coming. I want to be able to book this. Hmm. I think our best draw is Cyber Valley. I know it's bottomless, but this is how I would have played this regardless, so. That's not a bad draw. Okay. Um, what's the plan, I guess? Is it just Gale Mind? Or do we Dialk into the set monster? This is kind of like a pseudo mirror match. It's, it's really interesting. I think we'll Gale Mind. You gotta attack here first. Gotta go 1013 so you can get the Gale activation. I guess I could have made it Urbellum, but. I'd rather make Ancient Fairy Dragon. Yeah, Urbellum would have been good. I, I totally overlooked that line. That probably was the play for sure. Yeah, it was definitely Urbellum. I guess we could have made Armor Master too, but I want to get a Light in the Grave in case we draw Chaos Sorcerer. I mean, we do have Dialk, but you get what I'm saying. I also think Ancient Fairies gives us a little bit of just like threat insulation. That's really fucking good. All right, despite successfully mind controlling something, I am now down a card. That is bad. <laughs> that is bad. All right, let's float with our little dudes. At some point we can even like Ancient Fairy out a guy and then normal summon a guy and then Cyber Valley activate. But the longer this game goes, the worse it gets for me. They definitely have Christia because they're viewing their graveyard and thinking. Either that or they have Soul or they have Freed or they have Call. They're just going to attack. We are going to draw a card. They're not going to herald this. There's no way they herald that. I don't believe it. Okay, they set a monster. Hmm. All normal DD Warrior Lady. How many ways do I have to clear a set Shining Angel? Not that many. But I'd I'd rather clear the Thunder King in case it's another right guy. I still don't know what they're on. Oh, they're thinking. Okay. They're gonna let that happen. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just wanted to get this guy out of there. He seems like more of a menace. If it's a Raikou, at least we have Gores now. Just got a pass, we have no plays. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're down a lot. How did we get down this? Wait, we were down two cards? How did we get down two cards? I thought we were only down one. What happened? It was another Raikou. Okay, cool. All right. Now we're down three cards. How the fuck did this happen? Dude, every time I play against this deck, it's like this. It's like, how the fuck am I down? And now they have four fairies? Oh my god, fucking kill me. <laughs> All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> oh, man. We're just gonna... We're just gonna go to the next one. There's no way we're winning that game. Holy fuck. That was tough. That was really tough. I think that was just really tough. I think we need all eight of these cards. That was not, that was not good. I actually think Book of Moon is very bad in this matchup. 
I think Didi Crow is very bad in this matchup. I think some of our other shit is pretty bad in this matchup. I, I don't think Cyber Dragon really does anything. But it helps us burst out of Caius, but then we just get owned by a fucking Herald. I think Battle Fader is pretty bad in this matchup. Because it just sits in your hand, and then they Christia, and then they kill you. So, And if they play Consecrated, they also kill you with that. So I'm going to side out two copies of Battle Fader. Actually, I'm going to side out all three. I think the card is quite bad in this matchup. I don't hate Cyber Valley, but I also don't love Cyber Valley in this matchup. So we're going to cut one. We're going to run it like this. This is going to be really hard. I don't think this is a good matchup at all. We don't have, like, Light Mirrors or anything. We don't have, like, any sort of Haymaker that you need to beat Christia decks. Dude, this hand fucking sucks, too. Alright. Alright. Fuck it. We ball. I'm gonna set Snowman and just hope they attack it, I guess. If they set Raikou, it's gonna be really awkward. I might have to sack Snowman for Caius. Straight up if they set Raikou. This is bad if they hit, but this is good if they miss. Okay, well, of course. Um, yeah, we just gotta pop the D-Elk. There's an argument to popping the Snowman Eater here. Just because then they wouldn't be able to add back the DD Warrior Lady. Have to take a hundred. Uh, but I think it's fine. I'm gonna go with my Diog now. Do they have torrential? Fuck me, dude. That's so frustrating. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. We're gonna lose the Dialg for free. That sucks balls. Yeah, I don't love Cyber Dragon in this matchup. There's just only so much we can do, right? Like, yep. Fuck, dude. I had to start pressuring them. If we hit a monster, like, it was actually okay. All right, no Herald one time. Okay. Not good, but not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hmm. We don't have any of the light level eights. I wonder if that could come up. There's Shining Angel, that's fine. Please no back row. Please just pass. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna special summon Cyber Dragon and see if they do anything. I don't think they will, but we're gonna we're gonna test the waters a little bit. If they have Book of Moon set, then Caius is the best thing, and Book of Moon's the most likely. So I'm gonna try to Caius the Shining Angel. It could also be returned, because that'd be a card they'd sandbag till they had a monster banished. There's arguments for DD Warrior Lead, but that's like so bad in the Book of Moon. So I think Caius just like guarantee, banish the Shining Angel, get the damage in, give me a potential game shot with mind control, maybe we can make something work. Maybe not, I don't know. Now keep in mind if it is if it is still Book of Moon, then it is best to go for the Warrior Lady, I think. I'll attack it with DD Warrior Lady. We'll see where this gets us. I will activate DD Warrior Lady. Okay. Can we get in 2400 hit? 
we can wow okay so they're dropping really low next turn we could even go for something ridiculous mind control for game basically that being said if it is return they're gonna have a big turn they're gonna be able to get back double angel d to okay maybe that doesn't do anything maybe they just don't have a conversion This is a weird one. I think we normal DD Warrior Lady. This is a torrential check. Question mark. They could solemn the DD Warrior Lady if they have it. All right, I'll attack DD Warrior Lady first. They're big thinking here. They're thinking probably whether they book the DD Warrior Lady or book the Caius, or they're just going to concede. What were their back rows then? It must have been like Space Typhoon heavy. That's the only thing that makes sense. That was a weird game. I feel like if their back rows were real, then they would have they could have won. But I don't know what their back rows were. I'm just going to resubmit. I think this configuration is the best. Cyber Dragon sucks, but it's like better than whatever else because at least we can burst Caius. This hand is okay. I think we Gold Sark for Salvo? Hmm. I don't know, actually. We shall see. I'm gonna hold the Cyber Dragon. I'm gonna try for DD Warrior Lady. Because I just wanna cut them off of whatever it is they're working with. Raiko, okay. I will not banish. Because I don't want them to have D Alk Live. Looks like they did side in their Cyber Dragons. Okay, good to know about. I'm gonna Gold Sark now. I guess we could get Heavy Storm. Sure. I'll grab Heavy Storm. And then I'll pass. Just having Heavy Storm is like a nice little guarantee is going to be good, I think. I don't know, actually. Fuck me. This is going to be so hard to deal with without Caius. Maybe I should have just searched Caius. Fuck. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I probably should have searched Caius. I didn't think about them just summoning a recruiter. That was good sequencing by them. You know, setting the Raikou first, making sure the way is clear for their recruiter to stick. That was good sequencing. I'm going to activate Tekoichi. If they want to, they can herald this. Right. Looks like they don't want to. It's an ugly draw because we're getting heavy storm anyway. All right, standby phase. We get heavy storm. God, this is ugly. Set royal decree and pass. I could have summoned cyber dragon in defense mode, but there's just like no reason to do that. They can just summon cyber valley, and then like I get owned. All right, they're gonna flip their own heavy storm. That's totally fine. We have Trag. So that is something. It's our second dark. Yeah. If they have Herald, they can wait for us to pitch. But they probably should just herald the summon, maybe? I don't know, actually. That's a good draw, straight up.
Alright, I'll storm. Nice. Let's see if we can get through this. This is bad, it puts us further from dark arms, but... I am in a special it in attack mode. Because one of the ways they out it is with DD Warrior Lady. Do they have Herald of Orange Light? If they have Herald, I'm like fucked. Like, I actually can't do anything. If they waited on the Herald, I mean, it probably is a good wait there. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of knew that that was coming. I, I thought they might have wanted to use it on the Trag when it's summoned. But there's really no reason to, because Nova Summoner trades with Trag. If I don't activate the effect, if I do out activate the effect, then they get the two for two. So I actually just have to pass now. Dude, Herald of Orange is so fucking broken. Holy shit. They're one fairy away now from Christia. If they find Freed, they can kill us. If they find... There's a lot of things that just, like, own us. And we have this really awkward mind control knock with no conversion. and Cyber Dragon, which... Doesn't do anything in this Nova Summoner. That's pretty fucking bad. If they have another Herald and they have Christia... Oof, 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 oof. If they have the Cyber Valley, that's good. interesting they're gonna do this first play around gores if they have another herald they could make goyo main too and that plays around gores that being said if they had christia so they probably don't have christia well they do have christia they were double tributing for it main too oh wait 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 that was a mistake they should have double tributed for christia first because if i have gores into Caius, they lose, right? So, okay. I mean, I have to play it. I cited out all my books, so. It's literally just DD Warrior Lady or Bust, and it looks like we got there. Okay. Just set it. Pass. Hopefully they just attack into it, because that'd be really good for us. We just banish it, or we die to return. But there's, there's nothing we can do, you know? This card's broken as fuck. <sighs> and if they just, like, have another monster to attack it, that's good, too. They're thinking here. Alright. Well. That just gives us outlets... If it's Raikou, I knock it. Either that or I mind control. I'm going to mind control it. Because if it was another monster, like you would just summon it for swinging. They thought for a really long, hard, wrong, long time there. It's honest. What the fuck? That's so weird. That's really weird. I feel like you would summon Honest and attack the set with the Honest and go for game. I don't see why you would not do that. Hmm. Well, he got us good. I think I'm just going to set Dialk and then knock the Honest. And pass. If we get... I guess I can brain sack for Cydra. I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking about. I'm being an idiot right now. It's fine. Chrissy attacks the old set. It's gonna get back to the warrior lady. Yeah, if I brain sack for Cydra, they can just special summon Christia. So I'm gonna 
Activate the Deity Warrior Lady here. Banish the Thunder King. Yeah, so that doesn't actually get us anywhere. Is the issue. Hmm. This is awkward. This is for sure awkward. I'm not sure how we win this one. If we crash, we lose to any battle trap, and then we just take too much damage. If we drop to 700, we wouldn't be able to... Or 800, we wouldn't be able to use... Actually, 700, yeah. We wouldn't be able to use brain control. Either way, I mean... I just don't see how we win this one. It's... Our heavy storm's gone, too. I need to find a royal decree... If they have returned, they could have killed us forever ago. Okay, here's Shining Angel. That's all good. Uh, what are they gonna do? What's the move? This is actually good for us, I think. All right. Spanish Bulls. They have return. We can't brain, so. Now our hand sucks. What does this get them? Cyber Valley? Okay, we can't afford that. So we have to set Snowman and pass. Dude, so many things kill us. That being said, we can get back into this. It's just not very likely. It, it would take a series of really lucky draws, more or less. All right. More back row is probably good for us. Trap does shoot. All right. See my terrible hand. Take whatever you want. Now they have five fairies, so drawn Christia is bad for them. I'm not sure what they're gonna take. I'm gonna be real. They take Reaper. Alright. I am going to try something crazy. This might be bad, but I just want to try to cheese. There's a chance, however small, that I can just attack however many times with Cyber Dragon to win. There's a chance. Thinking on something. All right, that's a solemn judgment. Yeah, they haven't had a really good chance to solemn yet. If they solemn it and rip any monster, they win. If they rip like Freed, then they win. I'm already normal to the my last two cards, so. Honestly, if they have solemn, I would just shotgun it here. I just like hope to rip a monster and end the game. But I don't know. Yep. Looks like they came to that same conclusion. All right, we'll pass, and then they'll go ahead and draw. Let's see, is it a monster that kills me? No. Cool. Awesome. All right, Dinah is interesting. I'll I'll run it. Fuck it. It's damage. D prison. Shit, you got me. Do they hit a monster now? Yep. GG's. GG's. That did not look close. I could have maybe played things a little differently, like brain the Christia sack for Sidra, but then they just redraw the Christia and play it again, and I can't win. I died with brain control in my hand. And I had opportunities to use it, but the only opportunities I was using it for like 2800 burn. And it would have never been good enough. Uh, thanks. Smiley face. 
Um, and they they had Solemn the entire time anyway. So it was just like, there was just nothing I could have done. Yeah. That was brutal. This matchup does not seem good. <laughs> Alright, what's my verdict on this deck? What's my verdict? Is Salvo Dad a good deck? What are the parts I liked? What are the parts I didn't like? So the parts that I liked... I liked... Dimensional Alchemist. I thought he was he was alright here. I thought it was cool playing him with the lure. That was pretty fun. I actually liked Black Salvo. I thought Black Salvo and Dekoichi were really good. I wish you could play more copies of these. Like Dekoichi specifically. I like Didi Warrior Lady. Obviously it's like one of my favorite cards of all time. And I think Didi Warrior Lady is just really good in Edison. So I liked this part of the deck. I didn't love Battle Fader. I thought it was a little passive and bad. I didn't like the sideboard. I think Triple Sirocco is really unnecessary. I think Black Wings is a very easy deck to beat once you're just playing a little bit better. So... You could probably get rid of some of these Sirocco's. I don't think you need the Consecrated Light. I think what you actually need is you need Light Imprisoning Mirrors. And I think you need a way to maybe shut off the Fairy deck or shut off the Lightsworn decks because those decks are going to come down hard against you. Those decks are going to fucking murder you because they're doing what you're doing, but they're just doing it with a better engine. Like, straight up, Dekoichi is not as good as Shining Angel. That's just how it is. Shining Angel is insane. Shining Angel gets you the whole deck and the Fairy deck. And it keeps you up in summons, which is what matters in Edison format. Getting an extra card is is negligible if you're down in summons and you have no way to come back. And that's kind of what happened with us, is we were just behind so much tempo in all of our games. Cyber Valley's minus tempo, Dekoichi's minus tempo, Gore's Trag, Battle Fader, all five of those cards are minus tempo. DD Warrior Lady's minus tempo. So you have, what is that, 12, at least fucking yeah i think it's like 12 cards that are minus tempo in your deck and the only way we have to buy back tempo in this entire list is cyber dragon and that's not even good i guess technically chaos Sorcerer and dark arm too okay so you got you got four ways to buy back tempo and then you have like what was it 11 or 12 ways to lose it which is really bad and then on top of that if your dialc ever misses like ours did you just lose it for free so um i think this is not the best skeleton for this engine but i do think there is something here I think there's something here. You could probably fix fix up some things. What I would like to do is actually go down on Cyber Valleys, go down on Battle Faders entirely. I would like to cut all three Battle Faders. I would probably cut one of the Cyber Dragons from the main, only main one. And I would probably cut, I don't know. But what I would do, I would cut the Decrease. That's what I would cut. I would cut these seven cards and I would add Return. I would add like the cards that win you the game more or less which is like return and trap cards like solemn and shit cards that are positive tempo that way if you ever fall behind well first off it's much harder for you to fall behind because you have trap cards to interact with your opponent and then second off um where is i going with this you can have sweepers like torrential and mirror force that can actually catch you back up you have you can have extra outs things like arsenal or christia things like you know like a big blackwing board or whatever a big light swarm board you can have outs to lila wolf or whatever whereas like the way the deck is now, like, if you fall behind on board, it's like, draw your one salvo or you fucking lose. There's nothing to, that you can do, do to come back. So, uh, yeah, I think I think just having a few more ways to keep the, the tempo advantage in this list would be good moving forward. And that's my final thoughts on it. Yeah, cut the sideboard shit. I really don't think you need uh, Twister ever. I think Twister is a bad card. It's, like, narrow. I think you'd rather just... The only reason you ever want Twister is if you're playing Decree and you need extra outs like Dimensional Fissure or like some whack shit. I think Dust Tornado is generally just better. Um, yeah, that's that. And I also never never a big fan of Nobleman of Crossout. I do play it in some decks, but... Congratulations to Enrico for making top 8 with this list. I think it's really cool. I think there's a lot of cool stuff going on. I just think it's a little bit underpowered when you play it against some of the top decks in the online metagame. I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.